Well, sports fans, listen up. The season may be over, but there are ways to still enjoy this year's experience. The Mississippi Braves are finding unique ways to help fans continue enjoying baseball. Tonight, the team will be hosting a simulated college series game between Southern Miss and Ole Miss. I'm joined now by Chris Harris, the communications director for the Braves. Hello, Chris. Hey, how you doing? Well, tell us how you all are hosting this game. Yeah, so we have MLB The Show, obviously a game that's uh, played by a lot of gamers on PS4 and uh, a good friend of ours, a friend of the uh, the Embrace, Clayton Denson, uh, put in a lot of work to create a bunch of uh, NCAA baseball rosters. Last Tuesday, we had a virtual Governor's Cup featuring Ole Miss and Mississippi State. That was a, a huge success. We had 13,000 viewers over the course of the stream. And then tonight, now uh, we're featuring uh, Southern Miss, the virtual Southern Miss Golden Eagles against the virtual Ole Miss Rebels. So a few of the attributes of the players might be a tad off, but uh, we're expecting a fun night. We've done a lot of cool things to, to keep our fans engaged with the Braves. Last night we hosted a, a watch party with some of our players. And, uh, you know, we're all having to get creative and find ways to, to engage our fans and stay relevant. And, and this is one way we found to do it. That's going to be so much fun. Who do you think will win tonight? Yeah. I, you know, I, I, I can't really say. Obviously, Southern Miss and Ole Miss, great programs. That uh, that does go to the uh, video game world as well. Good program. So uh, uh, it should be a fun night. Absolutely. And uh, tell us a little bit about some other ways you all are, are still being involved in the community. Yeah, for sure. And, and by the way, that's going to be on our Facebook Live and on Twitter Live, Periscope tonight as well. So for you Ole Miss, Southern Miss fans, Facebook Live, the Mississippi Braves page, and Twitter. But yeah, we're partnering with right now Feeding America and the Mississippi Food Network. If you go to our website, MississippiBraves.com, click on the link and donate uh, through Minor League Baseball's Community Initiative. If you donate just $10, that can feed up to or can provide up to 60 meals for families right now. And it goes to our local Mississippi Food Network. If you go to that website, click on the Mississippi Braves is where you want your donation to go to. Just $10 can feed a lot of people. And for every $10 donated, Feeding America and the Braves are donating uh, a game ticket to a local uh, first responder, healthcare hero, and just local first responders that are that are really essential workers that are that are saving our lives right now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and I love what you all are doing with this. Is is this the first game you guys have hosted virtually? Uh, actually, no. We, we we had the virtual Governor's Cup last Tuesday night, Ole Miss versus Mississippi State. Ole Miss won that one nine to four. By the way, did go down to the ninth inning, but but Ole Miss pulled away in the end. And then we've had some uh, virtual Mississippi Braves. If you buy the game MLB the Show for PlayStation Four, you can play as the Mississippi Braves. So in your in your boredom uh, of quarantine right now, uh, get the game and you can uh, play as your your favorite Mississippi Brave. Uh, on your PS4. That is so awesome. Well, you know, there's Crazy. there's not a lot of sports to watch, so I'm glad you guys are coming up with these creative <laughs> ways that we can all get engaged here, Chris. Yeah, I th I think we're, we're we're learning how creative we can be, and I've always said the the most creative minds are in minor league baseball, and and it's it's been so cool to see all the platforms. You see the NFL draft done virtually mm -hmm. last week by ESPN. Uh, I think, you know, with this pandemic, and obviously it's a horrible thing, but you're seeing some things and ways that people can be creative and, and reach their fans, reach their customers in different ways and, and some good that can come out of it. Mm -hmm. What's coming up next for you guys virtually? Virtually, well, tonight, obviously, Ole Miss versus Southern Miss. And then probably around once a week, we're taking a, a an, an older Mississippi Braves game and replaying it and bringing on uh, players or participants in that game that had a, a key role. Like last night, we replayed our September 1st game against Chattanooga and had Trey Harris, Grayson Genesta, and Nolan King on during that broadcast. We had on our what would have been our opening night, uh, we had a replay of last year's no-hitter on June 28th and had uh, Ian Anderson and Jeremy Walker on to talk about that. So really fun to engage with our fans on Facebook Live and 
and on Periscope and, and keep folks, like I said, engaged and let us know that we're still here. And whenever uh, it becomes safe for us to play baseball, we're going to be playing baseball. All right. Well, um, everyone go go out and support the M Braves by logging on to Facebook and Periscope. And again, that is seven o'clock tonight, Chris. Yeah, go to uh, MississippiBraves.com and, of course, uh, Facebook.com slash Embraves and then uh, Twitter.com slash Embraves. Every day we have uh, cool things that we're engaging with our fans. So participate and let us know what you'd like for us to, to do as well. Thank you so much. You got it. You guys have a good day. You too. All right. Still to come.